Hey guys, welcome back to my channel PYR Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create this anime effect in Blender. Now, this effect is inspired from the Dragon Ball Z opening song as you can see here. And uh, you guys are curious to know how I did that. So, let's just follow the tutorial with me. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, let's just open Blender and delete everything and bring the sphere all right right click and add shades mode all right let's just split the viewport in half and uh, open shader editor in the another panel change the view from solid to render view and uh, Change the background color to black so that we can see our objects material clearly. Alright, let's just click the sphere and add a new material. Click new and delete principal BSDF and add a wave texture. Press Ctrl T to bring mapping and texture coordinate nodes. Let's just change the band across axis to Z axis and change the settings accordingly. All right, now let's add a noise texture. Connect the UV texture coordinate to the vector of noise texture and bring the separate XYZ node and put it here. Now if you see, click Ctrl Shift and left click on Noise Texture, so that way you will be able to see Let's just change the settings accordingly And change this to 2D Bring the bright contrast node and connect it here Slightly change the value of contrast to 0.8. Let's just add a math node. Change it to subtract and decrease the value down a bit. Alright, let's just bring another math node and connect the subtract and wave texture to it. Alright. Now if you see, you will get this result. Now we want to control it, so let's just bring the color ramp and plug it here.
let's just add another color make it black so that we have this kind of uh, texture over it let's just add one more and change it to white let's just narrow it down a little bit so that we have a space all right so this was the effect with harsh lines with solid lines but we also want it with a soft light so let's just bring another color ramp and uh, we are gonna separate them a little bit so that we get smooth edge let's just connect the math node to this color ramp too and if we see through this color ramp you will be able to see I'm just playing a little bit with the color ramp so that I can get an idea all right we are good to go so let's just mix both the color ramp press ctrl shift and right click and drag from one color ramp to another it will connect it to a mix rgb automatically all right let's just bring the factor value down a little bit yep let's just bring an emission shader and a transparent shader and bring an add shader connect both of them and connect the mix shader to the emission if you see it's showing nothing because we haven't changed our blend mode and shadow mode accordingly so let's just change the blend mode to alpha blend and the shadow mode to none so as you can see it is transparent now but we don't want to see the other side of our sphere so let's just turn on back face cam now you won't be able to see the other side so yeah now all we need to do is to give a nice color to this sphere so this is the part where you can be creative and give it really nice looking color but i'm going to go with this reference so for that i will be giving it a red color so let's just do that All right, so I have set the color. I'm just gonna tweak the settings a little bit. Now, to animate this, we have this face offset option, which we can change, and we can move it. which will give us a nice moving effect so let's just animate it select first frame and press i to give a first keyframe and go to the end frame and give it another keyframe by changing its value in a way that it should go upwards all right so here you go 
make sure that the interpolation is changed to linear because we don't want any easy and easy out effect. Alright, here we are done with our Dragon Ball Z effect sphere. You can also use this for multiple purposes. For example, as you can see in this video, I have used it as a wind effect for the meteor. So it depends on how creatively you use this effect. Also, if you are curious to know how I created this scene, I am also going to explain this in my next tutorial. So stay tuned with me. And for that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon down below so that you get notified every time I upload something. Let me know you like this video in the comment section and share it with your blender buddies who might need this. And uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.